Oh yes, the food pyramid. Well, how has the food pyramid changed over time? So in this video, we're going to talk about the food pyramid, how it got started, why did it get started and how it's changed over time. And then we'll go over what I think is wrong with the food pyramid and how we can change those things and what, what would Christie's food pyramid look like. And then we'll go over how you can lose 10 pounds in 30 days by just following simple rules. The food pyramid is, I believe, the single biggest blunder in our American government history. And that's saying a lot because our government has screwed up a lot of things. Back in the 1970s, actually 1974, is when the first food pyramid was implemented in Sweden. Then Americans started kicking around the idea about 1980, 1984, we released a food guidelines. But in 1992, the actual food pyramid, the original one, came out. This had six food groups. The largest one at the bottom was grains. Yes, it was nine to 11 servings of grain a day. Then it went to fruit and vegetables was the second highest, the second biggest category. Then meat and dairy. The second to the smallest category was fat. And the very, very smallest category was sugar. Other than the sugar, I would flip the food pyramid upside down. Obviously, I would just leave off the sugar from the food pyramid altogether. I don't know why. Let me tell you, okay, I'm getting fired up. I'm starting to sweat. I'm starting to sweat. Listen, the food pyramid was driven by industry, money and lobbyists. You know how powerful lobbyists are? They didn't have our best interest at heart because the World Health Organization said, hey, listen, listen, whoa, whoa, we need to talk about this. We need to limit the sugar intake. Oh no, the sugar industry went crazy about that. No, we can't do that. We can't limit sugar intake. You can't do that to us. So they put grains at the very bottom because that was the most powerful industry to go to bat for this food pyramid. Since 1980, we have watched Americans obesity rate more than double and we watched type 2 diabetes more than double. You tell me, does that sound healthy to you? After 1992, the food pyramid went through a little bit of a transition in 2005 and then again in 2011, it switched to my plate. When I look at the different stages of the food pyramid from 92 to 2005 to 2011, my plate, there isn't really a whole lot of difference. Now the controversy was that there was just some confusion, like nine to 11 servings. What, what is that? What is a serving? And a lot of people say, well, it's the size of my size of my hand. It's the size of a deck of cards. It's just a da, 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 da. And people didn't know what to think. But when I compare the food pyramid transitions through the years, through the decades to the, my plate, it's no different. It's just shaped different. It's, in fact, I think my plate is more confusing. So you're supposed to put that much, you know, it, that much meat and that many vegetables and dairy and milk. I don't think it's giving us clear guidelines. Of course, there is no cookie cutter method when it comes to just the general person. We're all bio-individual. That's why I offer the fully customized, personalized nutrition program where I write you a customized nutrition program. I write it for you exactly how many calories you need, exactly how many macros you need, how much water, when to consume all this food, because we're all so different. And I don't like having a, a pyramid or a plate or something to tell us all what to eat. We all are different and we can all metabolize different food different way. Another controversy about the my plate and the food pyramid, the old school one, is it says lean protein on it. Well, lean protein, like what is that? Or good quality protein or something. They want you to have fish or turkey or something lean and they say avoid bacon and avoid the gristle off the ribeye steak. That's baloney because we now have data research and science to back up the fact that fat is not the problem. The yolk and the egg is not the problem. Bacon is not the problem. Sugar is the problem, but hey, guess what? Healthy people makes a lot of sense, but they don't make a lot of dollars and nobody wants to talk about the truth. It's all driven by money 
It's driven by industry. It's driven by lobbyists. They don't actually have our best interests at heart, but we have plenty, plenty of research to back this up that the food pyramid is so flawed and my plate is so flawed. So before I keep going, listen, I want to hear from you. Comment below and tell me, do you remember learning about the government guidelines for the food, the food pyramid? Do you remember learning that in school? Comment below and tell me your story. So listen, I, I used to think that grains were healthy too. I, I was a vegan from September 07 to September 08. I thought like that was the healthy thing to do. I mean, I was trying it out for myself and I had to supplement. I mean, you take all the animal products out of your diet. You don't have a whole lot to choose from. And I had to eat a lot of grains in order to just feed myself something. And I felt like garbage. I had headaches and IBS and I had blurred vision and I had pain in my hands and my knees and I had fatigue and I couldn't sleep very well and I was overweight and I just looked like crap and I felt like crap. So I have been there where the majority of my diet, like the government recommends, is grain. I feel horrible. And in fact, I've tried every diet out there and I felt horrible. So the government has it wrong. You've got to do your own research. You've got to find the lifestyle protocol, the eating protocol that works best for you. But what we do know is over 70 years of data that backs up the fact that eating grains as the largest part as 60% of your diet is absolutely making us obese and it's making us sick and it's killing us faster. So what would Christie's food pyramid look like? All right, what I would do is I would literally flip the food pyramid over where the lot largest category was fat. And then we went meat and dairy for the second largest. And then we went fruit and vegetables for the third largest. And I would leave off grains. There is really no spot for grains in our diet at all. And of course, I think it goes without saying I would take sugar out of the equation no, no, we don't need it. So you might be wondering, okay, so Christy would make the largest category fat. Yeah. Like I'm talking about avocados and I'm talking about a coconut oil. I'm talking about not cutting the gristle off the ribeye steak. I'm talking about uh, leaving the yolk in the egg, healthy fat. When we talk about what fat does for us, because what does fat do for us? Fat keeps us full. Fat uh, helps balance hormones. It gives us energy. It helps our hair and nails grow. Fat is so good for us. It's going to help us feel full for longer. And it's definitely what we were created to eat. If you look, at an animal in the wild and they kill another animal, the first thing they're going to eat is the fat. Fat is precious in the animal kingdom. It is. And it's highly prized among the other mammals and other animals on this planet. Now, if you watch those Nat Geo channels of like life below zero and those, you know, where, where the Alaskans are out in the middle, you know, and then there's a survival. Fat is where it's at. They're going for that fat. They get the fat that surrounds the kidneys. They get the, the fat that surrounds even behind the eyeballs. Don't gag. If you were living out there trying to survive, you would go for fat too. Fat is so vital for our health. During the 10 pound takedown challenge, I'm going to come live to you every day. I'm going to teach you why we believe what we believe. And not only are you going to be learning a lot, but you're going to be unlearning all the crap that you were taught for decades in school, in college, in grade school, you know, all the times that our government brainwashed us to believe something that simply wasn't based in science. It was based on money. It was based on industry and it's what got you in this mess in the first place. So let me show you a better way. Join the next challenge by clicking the link and guess what? I'll see you in the next video.